Hey, thanks, John. Uh, do you have any inside intel on Odell signing with the Rams? I don't. I, I just <laughs> literally walking in here. I, I, I heard. I heard it's still between the Packers and the Rams. So I, I don't know, but that that'd be nuts. I don't. I don't know how that's gonna work. But <laughs> hey, look, I, I'm tuned in. We all are. Hey, um, talking to Coach Woods earlier, and he was saying that he felt like he should have had you guys playing a little bit more aggressively earlier in the year, particularly with the cornerbacks, just pressing a little bit more. Do you think that could be the recipe going forward with you guys, um, you know, trusting those corners to play tight? Maybe you guys taking another step up as well? Uh, I think so. Uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat. And uh, I think as far as, you know, early in the year goes, you kind of got to feel your way through things. You need games like this and, you know, kind of like trial and error, see what works, see what doesn't work, especially with so many new guys on defense. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, whatever works. Uh, I feel like different weeks require different um, different schemes, different, you know, techniques and stuff like that. So, but, you know, we got the guys to do it. You know, Greg and Denzel have shown, you know, they can cover pretty much anybody, um, challenge pretty much everybody, compete with anybody. So moving forward, we just got to keep stand, keep our foot on the pedal and stay on attack mode. Thanks, man. Thanks, Tom. We'll go to Nate Ulrich next. Hey, John, we just talked to, to JOK, and um, just what strikes you about him in his rookie season? What do you learn about him, and how impressed are you that, you know, he, is, he has gone through several obstacles this season, uh, but just seems to be playing well for you when he gets out there? Right. He, he's one of those guys that just, you know, just put him out there. Whatever spot you put him at, he, he's going to make plays, and he's like a heat-seeking missile. I mean, he's just going to – pursued to the ball like relentlessly that's that's the biggest thing that jumps off to me um athletically he's second to none at that position you know he, he's strong he's fast he knows how to tackle he has good angles to the ball so I think he's just one of those guys you put him on the field and you can't go wrong and you know he has got you know the injuries and stuff like that he's a rookie had to deal with things like that but it just shows you know how he was brought up you know his Notre Dame situation he, complete player great talent and we just need him out there to uh, make our defense a whole lot better. How's he look to you this week? Oh, he looked good. I mean, I, I think like he didn't want to overdo it, stuff like that. But I mean, he's definitely full speed. And I feel like he can play. So looks good. Thank you. Thanks, Nate. Scott Patrick, you're up. Hey, John, we've talked a couple of times about how you were playing in the deep middle and it was taking you a little bit to get used to that. But then Joe Woods said that in the last couple of weeks, he's done some more things with you. Um, has it been just as simple as playing closer to the line of scrimmage or how's he changed it up? Yep. Oh, uh, we, we change up things, uh, a, a lot of different ways. You know, sometimes I'm to the field, sometimes I'm to the boundary. Sometimes I'm with the nickel. Sometimes I'm away from the nickel. Um, you know, sometimes I'm rotated down in certain disguises, you know, we kind of want to have gray alignments to throw the quarterback off. And they feel like, you know, sometimes I'm better off at that position just because, they don't know where I'm going to play. Um, like usually, you know, Ronnie's usually down. So if you put me in a gray alignment, you know, it's kind of kind of hard to tell if I'm going to be down or deep. Usually they want me, they expect me to be deep. So it's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But, you know, just moving pieces, myself, Grant and Ronnie, you know, we just do a good job of being versatile enough to just move us all around. And, you know, when plays present themselves, we all got to cash in. And lately, you know, I, I've been doing it. So we just want to keep it moving. And, um Anywhere that you place us, we just got to find a way to make plays, and that's what we've been doing. Do you feel more involved that way, and is it more like what you did when you were with the Rams? I feel like there are plays all over, honestly, but um, just, you know, the, the name of the game and how teams attack us, I feel like being in the mix a little more does help a little bit. Um, you know, with the Rams, I play, like, the dime position. I haven't really played any dime here yet. So um, it's, a, it's a little different, but kind of similar in like the areas of the field that I have to cover, but just um, position specific, I haven't played any dime here. So it's a little different. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. Mary Kay Cabot, you're up. Uh, yeah, John. So while we've been going through this interview, it's been confirmed that Odell is joining the Rams. Uh, you know, it's basically everybody's saying that it's, it's a done deal now. Uh, so a couple things real quick. Um, first of all, what did you mean, you know, when you said, you know, I don't know how that's going to work. What, like, what did you mean by that? I just felt like, you know, they had a, a good thing going, like a complete offense. Uh, uh, I, I don't know. I just feel like I, be, from being in L.A., 
I know for a fact, like the offense runs through Cooper Cup, even in the run game, the pass game, the screen game, it kind of runs through Cooper Cup. And, you know, obviously, oh, there was a big name. He's, he's going to want that attention as well. So it'll be interesting. Coach McVay, he's, he's one of the best doing it. I know he'll, he'll find a way to get it done. But, you know, just right off the bat, I'm like, I wouldn't really want to go there if I were him. But we'll see how it goes. And, you know, um, I wish him the best. And how do you think that he'll fare with, with uh, you know, Matt Stafford and with Coach McVay and, you know, just what's going on there aside from Cooper Cup? Oh, yeah, they're going to they're gonna find a way to give him the ball. They're definitely going to do that. And um, Matt Stafford is one of the best doing it right now. Um, they have an electric offense. Um, they're, they're fun to watch. So, um, yeah, it'll be, it'll be interesting. I'm, I'm going to be tuned in and see how it goes. But, you know, that's a good situation to go to if you're a wide receiver. I know that. Thanks, Mary Kay. Dan Lobby, you have your next question. Hey, John, um, I wanted to ask about Joe Woods. Uh, you know, you, as, as you guys kind of went through the ups and downs here early in the season and, and he kind of figured out how to use you guys, what, what has he been like behind the scenes? Is he, is he one of those coaches that's just the same guy every day? What, what is he like? Oh, definitely. And um, I think he's, as the season's been going on, I think he's doing a better job of getting his players to play. And that's one thing I've always said about any good, you know, play caller, any good defensive coaches, getting your guys to play. So just coming up with different ways to get us to run to the ball, to get us to try to take the ball away, punch the ball away and things like that, you know, creating like little groups at practice where we are competing against each other to try to see who takes the ball away the most and stuff like that. So, you know, mid season, like it's just each week we're ramping it up, ramping it up when, you know, some people maybe can get complacent or just stick to the status quo. Now we're, doing everything we can to keep improving. And I think that's the biggest thing that jumps out to me. And, and I know it's a little different on the defensive side of the ball. Sometimes on offense, you'll hear about coordinators who, you know, will pick the brains of their players and, and see what they like and things like that. Does he do that with you guys? I wouldn't say pick our brains, but we're definitely, it's an open, it's an open table. You know, if, if you feel one way, you could definitely approach them and say, hey, I don't think like, you know, this is, we're comfortable doing this or, and definitely mid game, you know, if something, we feel like we got hit on during the game that he really liked. We would say, hey, look, this ain't really working. We really like this. And he'll not call it. And he's done that multiple times, and it's ended up working out. Um, you know, but at the end of the day, he is the the honcho. Um, but he does do a good job of listening and evaluating and doing what's best for all of us on defense. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. We'll take one more. Scott Petrick. Hey, John, what do you see from that Patriots offense, specifically Mac Jones? Uh, yep, the offense in in total, you know, I kind of think back to like the old school Patriots, you know, like Aaron Hernandez and Gronk, you know, they just got two new tight ends in. They got like a Kendrick Bourne, a, a shifty slot guy, you know, he, he can go in there and re do those like misdirection routes, stuff like that. Um, 16 has been the the junkyard dog. He blocks, he, he runs routes, he goes deep, he does everything. So um you know they have a complete offense. Like I say, it reminded me of the old school Patriots and um Mac Jones, they they put a lot on his plate, but he's definitely he's definitely as a rookie, he's playing beyond his years. Um he can make all the throws. He's conducting, he's changing calls at the line of scrimmage. Um so he's definitely reading defense and stuff like that. So it's just like a complete offense that we're going against good running back. And um, it's going to be a challenge for us, but we're up for it. You know, the last few weeks have been challenges and we've been doing pretty well. So we're going to see if we can string along another good game.